What's going on, y'all? So let's what's going on y'all so we are back again for another episode review how many more episodes we got i know we got one next week is it 10 episodes girl whatever um this show cute this show is something cute bitch and if i did not expect to be quite honest this ambitch and ambitions ambitions season one episode eight backstabbers to be quite honest i'm gonna be real with y'all you know i um went out on a limb you know, uh, to look at this show, I was like, it's on own, so I'm gonna look at it anyway. I'm looking at David Makes a Man too, just to see what it's about because you know, I've been putting out some good stuff, and I was like, girl, I really wasn't too sure about it. Then I looked at it, and I was like, okay, I didn't expect to be as hooked as I am, you know, and um. Yes, I really do hope they come back with a season two because this is some juicy shit. Like, this episode was cute enough. Um, It wasn't as explosive as the other episodes have been, but it gave me just enough, okay? So, um, we don't even have to go about everything, but let me just say this. Damien is something type crazy, okay? Now, Damien, I know a couple of y'all have known a few Damien's in your life, um... Probably with one right now and don't even realize it. You probably do, but you're probably into that shit. Get out of it, okay? Please get out of it because he means you no good. You know what I'm saying? He or she means you no good. They cray cray, all right? That's not good. That's not sexy, okay? Don't do it. But um, anyway, moving on from that, Amara, she and her feelings, you know, she on, she, she getting all that stuff out, okay, on the bike. <laughs> I'm trying to get my own um, personal best, okay? I'm trying to beat that, beat that, beat that, and there, I did, okay? Oh, you getting it in. That's how you talk it to And it was like, yeah, um, but girls, um, first of all, before you come over here trying to get all up in my Kool-Aid, let me ask you a question, Titus. I went downstairs. You wasn't down there. You crawled up in the bed at 4.30 in the morning. What's going on with that? You know I like to go out on my little drives or whatever when I be on the case and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, you do that, but um, you supposed to let me know that you're about to do that. I mean, I forget, okay? I'll I let you know now. Where did you go? I don't know. I went down the highway. Okay, why are you questioning me? It's like you you making me a suspect because it's Titus. You can't lie right. I'm seeing right through your lies. Even if I didn't know what was going on, I would have been like, he sound like he lying. He really sound like he lying. I don't even trust that. Okay. And I said, Titus, you know what? You're going to do yourself a disservice. Okay. You're doing yourself a disservice. Um, you're going to get yourself caught up. All right. Amara and um this Damien shit, you know, Damien coming to the office, she was like, you don't need to be on my case no more. Listen, Amara, I'm telling you, I'm not here to fuck with you or whatever. It's all to the good. They have a little conversation. Next thing you know, um, we find out that uh Titus and um, you know, Amara go down at a Rondell's place, okay? Rondell sit there having little kiki with Amara and all this stuff. You know, they good girlfriends right by now because they got a common enemy, Stephanie. You know what I'm saying? Kent come up in there, you know, of course, Ron, uh, Rondell realized that Kent and Amara know each other. And so that happened, that little interaction happened. Moving on from that, you know, um, Amara gets back to her, her job. And she comes running down to the uh, parking lot because she was told that her husband was there. And she was like, my husband is not there. Girl, your husband was there. You broke this shit up. Damien down there in the parking lot finna get ready to get in his car. Titus confronting him. What you doing here? What you doing this? And all this stuff. You know, you can't keep your woman or whatever. If you could keep your woman good, I wouldn't be here. I said, ah, uh-uh, Damien, stop, stop, stop. We not finna have this violence in this, um, in this parking lot because Titus looked like he was ready to go there with your ass because you was hitting below the belt on purpose. I know what you was doing. You was trying to get under his skin and let me tell you something Titus you are giving Damien everything that he wants okay he wants you to be mad he wants you to look like you out of control he wants you to look like the jealous husband he wants you to look like all of this stuff you bringing up his old case less than all this stuff that ain't really shaking him right now because he got Stephanie in his back pocket so you can do whatever you want to do okay Amara comes just in time to break that shit up Titus pissed off this nigga Damien Goes to his hotel, has two niggas from the uh, the banks to come there and whoop his ass. I said, what in the world is going on? I said, please tell me he is not going to try to set Titus up. Girl, he set Titus up. 
He set Titus up to go to jail, talking about son. He beat his ass and all this stuff. And of course, Amara's pissed off. You know, and I said, Amara, you should know that your man didn't do this. You should already know that Damien is, you know, uh, fucked up. Mind you, Titus and I already asked you some questions about what's going on with this Lester case. And, you know, kind of find out Titus did some little um, background information on him. Um, he was like, listen, he was trying to uh, take down Lester knowing he was an innocent man or whatever. And while he trying to take down Lester, he was fucking around with Lester White. That's his M.O. He come out here messing up with um, married women and stuff like that. He gets into these um, relationships with these married women trying to break up their relationship and all that stuff causing havoc and everything. And she was looking like, because he did that to me. I said, girl, you had some thoughts in your head that maybe Damien really is here just to be here. But no, girl, you was almost about to give him that little cootie. You was almost about to give him the little cootie. And I'm sitting here like, no, girl, don't do it, okay? Listen to what your man's saying. Your man has a reason not to trust your ass. And your man has a reason not to trust Damien, okay? So, therefore, put both of them together and you have a reason to stay the fuck away from Damien, okay? That's what I want you to do. I want your legs to stay like this okay and only park them for titus okay that's it you see damien you go just like that you lock it up okay and you throw the key away well you give it to titus okay so he can find it so he can open it up again you know what i'm saying he don't want to be lost in the south or whatever you know but um damien is crazy i just don't want to fuck with that one okay damien is crazy and another crazy motherfucker evan okay evan like, all the men on this show ain't got no sense. Kent, he possible. But let me tell you something, something about Kent. Hmm. I don't know if he good all the way. Or I don't know if we can really. Can, can we trust Kent? Let's just go there right quick. Because Rondell, you know, he messing. She messing around with Kent and all that stuff. And everything's going well. And she's getting the petition. The signatures that she needs for this petition. To keep the um banks open and all this stuff. So they won't be uh doing that construction with Greg's company. Where they trying to take her place and all that stuff. Her next organization is going well. She's getting the signatures. You know, she's throwing a little bit benefit party for it and then Kent shows up next thing you know this bitch come up in there this little house she was like hey Kent how you doing oh so this where you been at why you ain't been returning my texts because you know uh, I've been texting you and all of a sudden you don't want to text back listen we good we done it is what it is oh so now you want to be done since when Kent since when Rondell looking like oh so this what we got going on okay you can have that it was like um miss um Evan singing um, boo, Miss Lu, what's her name? Luann, Luann, whatever, Miss Lulu. We gonna call her Miss Lulu. She was like, you know Desiree will fuck anybody that she always on somebody man. Okay, that's why her mama always down at the church trying to pray for her. Okay, you know, don't even take that shit serious. So next thing you know, um... So next thing you know, um, can't come back and he got a gravel to her you're the only woman that i want you're the only woman in my life you're the only woman that i need i said oh you know the bird in me would have fell for it, okay the bird in me would have fell for it because you know rondell if i would have put myself in rondell's position rondell don't look like the type of person that just um you know sleep around and all that stuff you know she take her time with it or whatever you know she give her cookies up to um she gives her peaches her peach cobbler up to whoever um you know she deems worthy and not everybody is deemed worthy so in this point you know she's calculating in her head like okay this man came in you know he's something because you know he went against my brother called my brother out on his bs and i'm like hmm should i really trust him then he massaged my feet like he gave me a whole foot massage girl water and all you know probably paint and push back my cuticles and everything you know Oh, uh, and then, you know, he had this little mishap, and then he came in, and he was like, I'm the only girl on his life. Oh, my God, I ain't had nobody tell me that in a long time. Woo, waterfalls, <sighs> Russian rivers, you know? And she was like, Rondell said, listen, my daddy ain't home. He ain't going to be here for a while. You know, he over there at his boo house. So, um, let's do what it do, boo-boo. I said, okay, Rondell, what you about to do? Rondell said, 
You can get this peach cobbler, this sweet potato, this cookie, okay? You can get this velvet cake, red velvet cake, all of it. You can have it all, boo. And he took it, baby. He took it, baby. Shape well on and all. I said, oh, damn. You couldn't even pop the bra off. He just got up in it. And if y'all saw the way them legs crossed on the back of his back, I said, damn, he was hitting it. He was hitting it. He reached that. He reached all up in that. Bam! I said, all them legs went like this, okay? <laughs> Feet was like this. Toes was like this. Girl, okay. Okay, I said, come on, Rondell. And um, at this point, Rondell's story intersects with Stephanie's, okay? So let's just pause for the cause with Rondell right there. We're going to let her bask in the glow of the fact that she finally got her back blown out, okay? Woo, Russian rivers, you know, um, raging waters. But, um, Stephanie out here still messing around with Peters, okay? And she was in the midst of, mind you, she at his house now. I said, oh, so y'all didn't move from the, um, office, his office, your office, his office, to his room, to his house, to his living room, to his floor. Okay, so y'all just doing it everywhere. So y'all just a thing now, okay? All right, I mean, Evan got his whole, Evan got a whole family on the side. And we don't even know if that's really the only family that he got on the side, okay? To be quite honest, you know, um, Evan just a hoe. But, um, Stephanie won too. <laughs> Everybody that ain't fucking the person that they supposed to be with, y'all hoes, okay? But, um, at the same time, you know... <laughs> They doing all this stuff. You know, Greg, he gets me when he's talking about something. I want a piece of the candy and all this stuff. And she be like, the candy shop is closed. And my little sweet chocolate. I hate when white people say that about black people. Or, you know, girl, it just it grabs my gear. I'm like, what do you... It, it makes it seem like it's a little fetish or a little game to them. No. Okay, that turns me out. Don't say no shit like that to me. Don't... I done dried up. Listen, I'm trying to get... The, I'm finna get out of here. I'm finna get out of here, okay? Don't. Don't do that. No, no, <laughs> no, that's Stephanie and Greg, that's Stephanie and Greg, okay, next thing you know, he get alert that somebody coming up to the steps to his, to, to his house, and we see this, um, this girl, she had a formation, she got these guys behind her, they walking in formation and everything, I said, uh oh, what's going on, the mafia coming, bitch, she come up into the house, her name Natasha, she the, um, uh, Greg then push uh, Stephanie all the way upstairs. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You don't need to be around these people, whatever. Girl, Natasha came in, had her dude come and knock his ass out. Kind of found out Natasha is his cousin, okay? She works for his daddy, okay? And his daddy will kill his ass if he need be because he wants that whole property with them play set and all this stuff so that their construction building, whatever deal that they've been working on this whole time, can go through, okay? And, you know, Natasha's putting out these threats and slapping him and then kissed him. And I was confused by that. I said, wait a minute. I lost it right then and now. I said, not just kiss him on the cheek. Mwah. No. Mwah. I said, Ew, what is that on the lips? I said, y'all cousins. So y'all kissing cousins? Because y'all look like y'all did this before. At least Natasha did. Because, listen, when he had, when he was pinned down on that sofa, Okay, she had her leg up and they showed that, you know, we could see up her skirt and see that her gun was on the inside of her thigh and we see her little penny drawers and all that stuff. And I said, um, Stephanie, I want you to go get um checked out and I want you to leave this alone. Okay, I want you to get your little stuff on the side, but you need to leave this one alone because this one got a whole bunch of nasty stuff that's going on in his uh in his family and i don't know what this is kissing cuz my ass well into that you know incest ain't the thing that ain't what we going these days okay moving on from that stephanie pissed off like who is these people and all this stuff she mad she like you ain't getting no more candy shop clothes i said girl lies but anyway you know um so stephanie go to her mom trying to get some information on greg's daddy and all this stuff and she tell him you know he used to have this company they changed it from greg um petrovich to greg you know enterprises and all greg peters enterprises and all this stuff and then greg the the son started getting in control it basically the daddy is a bad man, bad man, okay? He worse than Greg, you know? Everybody's scared of him, okay? And so she get the low down on him and all this stuff. And mama said, um, just make sure that you're not getting played 
okay? When you if you're gonna be sleeping with Greg, make sure you don't get yourself played. Trust and believe. I I've been there. I said, wait a minute. Mama didn't, mama didn't call you out, and mama already knew you was messing around with Greg Peters. And then she spilled her own little tea a little bit and said, you know, she been there, did that, done that. Okay, lesson learned. Okay, I'm telling you from experience, okay? Don't get played. Make sure you know what you're doing. Cover all bases, because she didn't. I was like, oh, Mama Carlisle is a bad bitch, okay? Mama Carlisle is out here doing some things. She done lived, okay? You know, she's saying, I ain't always had this opulence and lift this class, okay? I did some little dirt, too, all right? And you already know. I said, oh, okay. You know, she trying to get, um... You know, Rondell's place and, you know, Stephanie telling her the only place, the only person that she'll listen to is uh uh Evan. So, Mama go over there with her good wig on, trying to talk to Evan. She was like, at one point, I did look at you like family. You was like my, uh, another son to me. He said, boy, bullshit. That's what she, he, he was basically like bullshit. And she said, basically, just, you know, watch your back. That's all you need to do. Just watch your back. And I said, oh, Mama Carlisle ain't the one to be played with, okay, at this point. And so she done found a way into her, um, you know, to hack into Rondell's, um, you know, petition website that got all the petitions on there and all the signatures and stuff that she needs, okay. And so at this point, she done did some stuff so that it looked like she got all the stuff that she needs because she wakes up in the afterglow of having her back blown the fuck out, okay. She all good, skin glowing. She like, mm. I just feel so loose <laughs> and energized. Baby, how you doing? And all this stuff. You look all good and she. <laughs> oh, God, look at this. I got them signatures. Yay. Um, wait a minute. What's this? Please tell me my eyes ain't t- playing tricks on me. I, I just can't believe this. I said, girl, what happened? What happened? All those signatures was gone. They said she got alert saying uh, 60% of the signatures are invalid because they don't live in the district. I said, that is some bullshit. Y'all is playing games with Rondell. Y'all don't need to do this to her. Okay, stop playing with her like that. You know, she got her feelings all hurt. She just had a good night. Just had a good night and thought she was going to have a good morning and thought it was going to set the tone for the rest of the day and y'all had to ruin it, okay? We can't have nothing in here. I said, Stephanie, you ain't shit. You and your mama ain't shit, okay? I still like you, but you ain't shit, all right? She was like, you know, you won't fuck with a girl in the banks, but see, you can't fuck with a bitch that grew up in um Belkhead. I said, oh, 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 all right, you know, pal, girl. Okay, then we get this whole scene with uh, Bella. Bella's supposed to be going to the cutter zone, um, you know, textile thing or whatever, and she got a little meeting. She's talking to her mama, her mama looking up places. She was like, oh, this for you. You finally moving out the bank. No, girl, this is for you and um, Joaquin, okay? This is what y'all need to get on up out of here and all this stuff. When you get, um, you know, you need to start a family, you need to grow up, okay? That's what you need to do. Bella ain't trying to hear all that. So, um... She thought she was going to meet with the head lady herself, okay? But now she sent her mama, I mean her son, Ignacio, okay? And I was like, who the fuck is this at this door? He looks so familiar. What is his name? Like, I seen him on something. It took me to the last scene that he was in for me to realize that that was Cristobal from Powell. Mind you, Powell come on at the end of this month, y'all. Girl. Are we ready? We ready, okay? Ashley is. But uh, I said, look at you, you slime bucket, bitch. Okay, Cristobal, Ignacio. I said, uh-uh, they was flirting a little bit. I said, mm, what is this? You know, this is when Bella had a little egg on her face. We see, Bella, she thinks too much of herself. Bella feels as though just because she's messing around with the mayor, she has his child, um, she gets to go ahead of the front line, okay? And that's not necessarily the case. You have to go through some of the um, stuff to at least make it seem real, you know, a little bit plausible, a little bit legal, like everybody else. So instead of thinking that she actually got this position with this company, um, the son said, baby, we giving you a six-week trial, okay, to see if we want to be impressed by you and if we want to um, continue to actually go on with you full time. You need to show me something in the next 48 hours, and in the next week or so, and then we'll see what's going on. You know, she gets mad with Evan or whatever, you know, spewing all this stuff at him and then trying to not let him see his son and all this stuff. I said, look at who you're playing with. You're playing with Evan. It's not going to work, okay? 
Um, I wouldn't do that, you know, just because you're getting your feelings about what you thought you had. You, girl, you just a sad chick, okay? His wife got um two kids back, okay? You just got a little one, okay? So you really don't mean nothing, okay? That was just an expendable. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Um, So it is what it is. And um, she put on a little fashion show for Inoxio when he was impressed a little bit. And I was like, don't tell me them two going to hook up. Them two going to mess around and hook up. Girl, she up there doing her stuff and getting her shit ready. And she get a knock at the door. It's a cake. And I think it was Roderick that sent her a cake that said whore on it. I said, mm mm mm. This is a mess. But anyway, it really wasn't no oohs and ahs that really had me like, oh damn, this episode, this was a cute episode. It wasn't like the other episodes, but I still take it. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about it. If I missed some stuff, put it down in the comments, girl. I ain't seen my boo Marilyn in this episode. Girl, Lord, we gonna be fucking around with other bitches next week. I said I knew it. I knew it. Girl, the only person that thought they was in a relationship was on um, Lil' Carly. Carly, that ain't had work in our work. <laughs> you don't put it out there right there on the plate. <laughs> this ain't no relationship. We just fucking around. <laughs> anyway, y'all tell me how y'all feel, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.